All right, and also my Nagdar. We have Mr. Mai Nagdar here, our jury chair, of course, and he has been extremely diligent, a wonderful jury chair. Um, we've, we've got a robust list of um, winners here tonight, and I'm very grateful for you to have taken the time for doing this for us. With a very loud round of applause, please acknowledge and welcome the jury chair for the second edition of the Maddies, Mai Nagdar. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's really been amazing being part of this process. And, uh, but before I go any further, let me just check up. You guys have been doing a lot of passive listening. How many of you here are in contention for winning awards? Finalists in contention? Just a show of hands. Nice. And how many of you have not had dinner yet? Show of hands. Wonderful. So we've got a bunch of people who are hungry for awards and who are just plain hungry and I'm in the way. So I'll try and keep this short, hopefully not bore you too much. Um, so, you know, I just wanted to spend a couple of minutes sharing some thoughts about, you know, we're all gathered here to recognize and award great mobile marketing. And I, I'd just like to take three questions. First, why does it matter? You know, why should we all be spending time talking about mobile? Second, what is great marketing? And third, why are we all here today? I mean, we could theoretically do these awards and send out the, the results on the net and say, company X, brand Y has won. So first, uh, you know, let's talk about why mobile. And you know, I've been doing this for 20 years. I, this year, I complete 20 years in the corporate sector. And a couple of things always strike me. Even when I joined as a new hire, I found it weird. I still find it weird today. I always find it weird when marketers sit and talk about consumers. You know, it's as if there's this disembodied set of people whom we don't know, we are not part of, who are there to consume our products and pay money to us and, you know, buy our brands. So I always found that weird because, you know, there is no such thing as a consumer. We are all consumers. Our families are consumers, people we know are consumers, our friends are consumers. So one of the things I like to do is just look inside and say, look, what are our, what's happening to our lives as a consumer, and uh, why should that matter to us as marketers? And uh, the second thing which I always find curious is, uh, in the industry, we always look at it on period-wise results. You know, what's your sales versus year ago, quarter on quarter, even awards, it's year on year. Sometimes if you really need to take a view of what has changed and why things matter, it helps to take a longer-term view. So let's combine those two, you know, think of me as a consumer and think of how my life has changed in the last 20 years. So 20 years ago, I was in Mumbai starting my work, uh, my career. I just traveled from Powai to Parel. So that took me about 45 minutes. Maybe I shaved 15, 20 minutes versus what I would have done 20 years ago. Eastern Express Highway wasn't there. Maybe the car ride's a bit more comfortable. But think about stuff that was happening in my life then. Uh, I like reading, so I'd probably be carrying a paperback with me. My parents were in Delhi, so if I wanted to chat with them, I'd probably have to plan to stop at a PCO booth along the way, maybe on the way back or on the way here. Uh, you know, I, if I had to pay someone a bill, I'd have to you know, maybe go to the bank or write a check the next day. If I wanted to listen to music, I'd probably be carrying my Walkman with me. And so if I think about that 20 years ago and I think about now, what did I do in my car ride? My eight-year-old son's at home, he's got a homework project. I was FaceTiming him, timing him, chatting about how he should go about it. I had a bill to pay, I did it online. I went to the Kindle store, I downloaded a book. I watched a bit of a movie for good measure. All in the 45 minutes it took me to get here, and it's all on this one little device, 5.7 inch device. So if you take that long view of yourself as a consumer, I'd say it's not over-dramatic to say the biggest transformational aspect in our lives has been the advent of mobiles, mobile internet, and how that's really allowed us to make our lives simple, more connected, and really got much more convergence in the different parts of our lives. So what does that mean for marketing? What is great marketing anyways? I, I mean, the one thing I'd say is, I know this is the second edition of the Maddies. If I have to make a fearless prediction, I'd say in a few years, we won't have a separate mobile marketing award. You're either going to have good marketing or bad marketing. 
because no marketing from now on is going to have a marketing plan that doesn't have mobile in it or is based on mobile because that's what the consumer is all about today. That's what our lives are all about today. So that's my fearless prediction. I would love to say I wish these awards a long life and 10 years on we'll be doing a separate mobile marketing award. I would bet in a few years we're going to say great marketing has to be about mobile. So what is great marketing? I mean, let's start with what's bad marketing. It's easy. Bad marketing is a waste of time for the consumer and the marketer. I think good marketing is easier to identify. Good marketing builds business. Good marketing builds market share. Good marketing brings in revenue. And that's all nice. But as we went through the submissions, as we went through some of the ideas, we saw what is great marketing? And I think this is another place which I have a lot of personal passion for, is if you really humanize it, marketing and great marketing is all about building relationships. That's what it is, and that hasn't changed from the time people wrote the first print ad to the time they made the first piece of TV advertising. The brands that have stood the test of time are brands which have made that emotional connection with consumers. They've got consumers to love them. They've become relevant to the consumers' lives. And over time, consumers have rewarded those brands with revenue, with profit, with market share. And I think that's kind of a mindset which I'd love for all of us to embrace. Marketing is not about getting someone to click something. It's not about getting someone to generate a revenue stream. Marketing is, has been, and always will be about building that relationship. And I think the measures, the metrics we used 20 years ago, day after recall, sampling, conversion, have changed. But let's not get lost in that. And I think that's the one danger I see is that as the tools change, people start forgetting that at the end of it, there's a human being. Let's not label that human being as a consumer whom we want to form a relationship with. And that's where I think mobile and the growth of mobile offers amazing opportunities for marketers to build those relationships. Because building a relationship is not just talking to people, it's not just asking people to do things, but it's also sharing who you are. It's building empathy, it's building connection. And I think mobile and the internet allows marketers and brands an amazing opportunity to have those conversations to build that relevance. And I think as you look at a lot of the awards, a lot of the entries that we found inspiring, where the brands and companies that were really doing that. Now moving to the final point, why are we here? Of course, there's beer being passed around, I see a beeline for the bar at the back, there's dinner, there's awards to be won. But yeah, I mean, we all have work, we all have families, we all could be doing other things with our lives. Why I was excited to be a part of this process as I went through the jury judging process and why I'm excited to be here today is as I was going through those entries, I found myself being provoked, I found myself being inspired, I found myself being stimulated. So I think beyond the awards, beyond the nice food, beyond the beer, and beyond the networking, all of that's important. What I really think is this is an amazing opportunity for us to learn from each other. Because if you think about what's happened in the last 20 years, imagine what's gonna happen in the next five. Imagine what's gonna happen in the next 10. Imagine 20 years from now when my son is going to be talking to someone about how his dad's been nagging him and how he got in touch with him. How is he going to be doing that? And I think that's what we are creating. There's no textbook for that. And that's what I find really inspiring. Together, all of you are not just celebrating what worked in the year gone by, but we're all here to celebrate what's going to inspire and create that future in the next few years. So yeah, it's been wonderful being part of this. I really look forward to seeing a lot of the winners on stage. I've seen a lot of your entries. I've seen a lot of your photos, but look to see you all in person. And thank you so much.